Wiener getting into my shot. yesterday with this didn't have a chance to work on it and started working on it this morning and suppose I had a bag ignition module so I checked spark I didn't even crank it over at first to see if it would even try and start didn't even mess with it put a plug wire another plug wire on it ground out of another spark plug wire or spark plug on the valve cover and I went to crank it over to see if it had spark and it's 
started on seven cylinders, but it started, so that was a bit unplugged, but it started, which was extremely odd. So I uh, pulled the air cleaner off and hooked the plug wire back up, and I tried to start it again, and it wouldn't start. What I found, and I don't exactly know why I did it, but my best guess is the choke blade was stuck closed, and I had to, like, push down really hard on it, and it was, you could tell it was, like, almost over-centered and stuck in the choke horn. I think what happened is it probably popped back through the carburetor on him when he tried to get it going, and it almost, you know, over-centered this and wedged it. So I popped that loose, held it to the floor, and, uh, to, you know, clear it out, and it fired, and then it smoked for a little bit, um, it was all loaded up, and it's still loaded up, I haven't let it run long enough, it's warmed up now, but I just wanted to check it out a little bit and see what was going on, but it, uh, it seems to be alright, so that ignition module issue was the customer's diagnosis, and that wasn't the case, so um, I think it was just flat flooded out, wasn't getting any air, and I think it's fine. All we're going to do now is change the oil and uh, maybe tune it a little bit and see if we can't get rid of the, the pop back through the carburetor or whatever that was about. look really nice. New carpet. Then I put that nice four-speed shifter in it. It's got a tiny wheel on it which makes it kind of difficult to drive because it doesn't have power steering on it. But other than that, it's a pretty nice car. Just your typical 57 Chevy just with a four-speed. It'd look good with some uh, pie crust slicks on it and uh, maybe some chrome reverses on the rear and some some Ansons on the front or something. But that's a second car. I think that's pretty much a wrap for the, uh, the old Bel Air. I'm going to tell him to come and get it. It's a lot simpler than we thought. You like those. 
take the old uh, 57 for a test drive here.